Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome to Midday Kentucky, everyone. We're over here with Chef Alison Davis at Wild Time. Hello, darling. How you doing, mate? It is, uh, mate. <laughs> it is getting hot out. It is. It's it is getting sticky hot. hot. Last week we did lots of watermelon dishes. I know, wasn't that fabulous? It was actually pretty yeah, good. Thank I'm you. I'm going to say it was. Thank you. Okay, but that this week... That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> <laughs> what are we making today? All right, so I'm highlighting something. There's a local farm that I love getting yeah. produce from, Elmwood Stock Farms. Um, if you guys don't know, they are a fantastic organic certified farm yep. um, out towards Georgetown. They have 175 acres. They have an um, irrigation system from Elkhorn Creek. Right. I mean, it's just phenomenal and it's prime real estate um, but they have um, almost maybe six weeks out of the year you can get this in the summer and I absolutely am in love with it and I was asking you if you even had a name for these in Australia and you were like I don't know what it is um, but this is called garlic scapes so when you are you know we love garlic right I love garlic. so we've got the bulb but then these are the tops and again you only get these a certain time of the year so about six weeks out of the year you cook with them if you didn't know the entire part of the garlic is edible and these scapes are one of my absolute favorite things on the planet that. so I'm going to show you two different recipes that we're going to do with these and right. then I've got some garlic just for you that we're roasting my, the off way the I oven. make it yeah so why don't you tell okay. them how we do that all right so what you do with the garlic is you take the whole clove okay turn it him and it's a you chop this, this off this part off go of ahead. course oh you want me to do yes, that go ahead, oh come on. okay oh look at me but I don't buy it fresh like you do because I buy it from the Supermarket. Yeah, but isn't that beautiful? Yeah, Just straight out of the garden. But the most important thing is, is you get rid of all of this, mm -hmm. the root area. Mm -hmm. But you, you don't want it all, you don't want it cut when you cut it. You the don't, less you cut, the better, because yes. you want to eat it. Exactly. But you want, if you look here, you still want this part to be quite tough, because that's what's the core, is what's holding all these pieces together. Anyway. All right, Enough and then chatting. what I did was I wrapped it in aluminum foil. I put a nice little herb oil, salt and pepper, and oh, then Oh, well, how did you do that? I just took this hole, yeah. put it in some aluminum foil, oh. and then poured a nice little herb oil with salt and pepper over it, and then roasted it in the okay. oven. Okay, I do it slightly different as well. I take a bowl like this, one that you can cook, uh -huh. almost fill it with oil, olive oil, and then put it this way down and okay. that's how I bake it. Okay, yeah. So I've then seen all that too. the outside becomes crunchy. Yeah, and then so it almost uh, and it blisters like it. and caramelizes Perfect. in the oil. Yeah. Oh so my gosh. It's fabulous. All right, so I'm cutting up the garlic Should scapes we? here. I'm going to save a few. <laughs> well, we know he's not a vampire, everybody. Um, I'm going to save a few because I had another recipe. And while I'm sauteing, I'm going to have you prep a few of these. Okay. So this was just like a little appetizer you could make with these garlic scapes, where we're just going to take a little bacon yep. and we're just going to kind of like, roll. Uh, like like a, we've done the asparagus, asparagus. before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to wrap our bacon. All the way around. our garlic scapes. All right. Now what I've done here is I've chopped a little bit up and again I'm just showing you this because you can use the whole thing and just cutting it and then we're going to saute even the tops are just gorgeous um, right in some brown butter. So when I say brown butter yep. if you can see this you can see where it's starting to foam a little bit but it's starting to change just a slight color. Yep. Um, the best way to really tell when your butter is ready and it's brown is from uh, the smell. Can you smell that? It smells toasty and nutty, right? Oh, don't worry. I've already dipped the bread in it. <laughs> so we're just going to throw our skates in there and just oh. let that <laughs> let that go. That, Did I get you? Yeah, a little. Okay. That's we're all right. We're going to let that just saute. Again, I'm not going to add too much to this. We're just going to do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just let this kind of bloom and all right. that work. We're running out of time. Butter. That's it. I'm going to pull this garlic out really? so we can maybe get a shot of it. Can you it pull that out? Oven. Yeah, and Good then the job. bacon, of course. We're just going to cook the scapes in the oven. How long do the these bacon. take to cook? Really, and just until 15 the bacon minutes? Is done. Oh, okay. Show everyone how that garlic opens up. Let's see. Look at that. Oh my God! Do you see it's that? It's so yummy! Yeah, so All get right. it nice and soft. You take that spread on butter just Gotta like Gotta go, that. Alison. If you want to find out about more about this recipe, head over to WTVQ.com forward slash recipes. Back after this short break. Today's cooking segment was brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style.